Hello everyone. This is Sue Broom and I'm here to do the weekly angel card reading for the week of June 12 through 18 of 2023. And I'm shuffling the Desert Speaks deck. And for those of you that have been with me before, if you could hold the intention after you've cleared your energy, called in your angels, cleared your energy, cleared your space, called in your angels, call in any guides, love and light. Set the intention that the perfect card from this deck is going to pop out for the week of June 12 through 18, just for us. And there it is. All right. And now I'm going to shuffle this Angels Are Everywhere deck. And this deck, I will pull three cards from the Angels. And again, hold the intention, hold the intention, hold the intention. That the perfect cards, the perfect messages from the angels are going to come through for everyone. First card, I do not know what these cards are. For everyone, no matter when you're watching it. And if you're watching this on YouTube, second card. If you ever want to watch it as I reveal live, I do that on Facebook at... 10 a.m. Arizona time, which is 1 p.m. Eastern time, and the third angel card. And when the time changes, I still do it at 10 a.m. Arizona time. We don't switch. Everybody else does. Okay. Holding the cards, and I do not. I still do not know what any of them are. So here we go. Let's see what the cards are revealing for this week. Okay, so let's see what the cards are revealing for this week. Now remember, this is for the week of June 12th. So the Desert Speaks card is, ooh, celebrate. Look at that. This is like a, it feels like a burst of energy. And it feels like there's, hmm. It feels like something is coming up for a lot of people that it's like, oh, there, there is, it, you know, like, when you feel like something exciting is on the verge, but you don't know what it is, it feels like something like that is going on for a lot of people. I, I kind of have felt like that, but it comes and goes, so maybe it's, maybe it's just building. But it also, it just feels like this applies to a lot of people. But I also feel like opening ourselves up to the possibilities is a big part of it. So what I mean by that is if you open your eyes in the morning or look outside in the morning or look at your day ahead and you look at it with gloom, doom and gloom, let that go. Look at it with cause for celebration. Even if you don't know what the day is or you think you know where the day is going to go, look at it with cause for celebration and it really shifts your energy so ooh, i like that angels thank you also i do want to point out notice the colors i i feel like the first three colors today usually i only say one or two today it feels like the first three colors in the order just pay attention to that it means different things for different people and there go the chimes in agreement first angel card we have is my heart expands with love. Now, look at this. Isn't this all about expansion? It's like a burst of energy, and when you're bursting like that, it sure is expansion. And I feel like there's a lot of you that need to take a deep breath on that and breathe that in. My heart expands with love and celebrate. Celebrate the expansion of your heart. Celebrate the expansion of your life. Celebrate the expansion of who you are. Ooh, it's going to be an awesome week, everybody. I'll tell you. Not that these cards are prophetic, but I'll tell you, they, they may give people a different way of approaching things. I think that's what the angels help us do. Second angel card, share your gifts. Yep, this is not the time in our lifetimes about, uh, what's that saying? Hiding, hiding your light under a bushel basket <sighs> it is absolutely not and even the share your gifts 
look at when you celebrate and you're bursting with energy, don't you think people are going to take notice and say, hey, I want some of what she's got. Hey, what is it that's going on in your lifetime? What is it that you are doing? And it opens a door to share whatever it is that you are experiencing. Third angel card we have is, ooh, brush of an angel's wings. I think a lot of people, and there go the chimes, I think a lot of people need to really appreciate that. Because I think there's, there's many... There's a lot of people that feel alone. And there may not be other humans in your life, but there are always angels in your life. And I think to breathe that in and know, K-N-O-W, know that the angels are with you. And to celebrate that. The more you notice and celebrate and even if you haven't noticed an angel, but you celebrate like you have, it's, it's like a, a wake-up call to the angels. It's like, oh, yeah, she's celebrating us. Not that they're looking for celebration, but it's like appreciating and giving thanks for things that you know are coming into your life. They may not be there yet, but on some timeline, they are. So, wow, it's going to be an awesome week, everybody. I'd love to hear your comments. Thank you so much for joining me, and go celebrate. Angel blessings to you. See you next time. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you want to find out more about me, go to my website, suebroom.com. That's where you can, if you want to sign up for a reading, if you want to sign up for a healing session, if you want to go to my Etsy store, which I am wearing one of my new shirts. It's... I love this. It says, God bless the USA. And of course, uh, July 4th, or red, white, and blue cake. It's very cute. But if you want to go to my Etsy store, the link is on my homepage of superm.com. If you want to go to either of my Amazon author pages, also the link, the both links are on my website. And if you want to read the message from the angels, a channeled message that I do every single week in my blog, Go to my website, suebroom.com. Also, please do like and share this video. I am trying to grow this channel just a little bit, so anything that you can do to help. And if you add any comments, that also helps. Thank you so much. Angel blessings to you, and I'll see you next time.